transformation of objects in this lesson we will learn how to transform the objects created in maya for example here we are going to create one object now let us see how to transform this generally in modeling the three properties of the object are to be transformed they are move rotate and resize the information related to these three properties will be in the channel box we can find the name of our object as p sphere 1 in the channel box translate x y z tell the position of the object rotate x y z lets us know the angle of the object and scale x y z tells about the size of the object all these together call transformations first let us know about translate option translate means move if we see in translate x it shows minus 0.6 that means the object in x axis is at minus 0.6 in the same way in y axis at 0 and in z axis at 0.6 now if we type 2 in translate x value we can observe that the object in x axis is translated two points if 8 value is given to z object will be translated eight points in z axis now let us know about rotation if we type 90 degrees in X, the object get rotated 90 degrees in X axis. In the same way, 180 degrees in Y axis. And 45 degrees in Z. Okay, see, in this way, we can rotate the object in desired angle. In the same way, by allotting values in scale X, Y, Z, we can scale the object. Now let us learn about the transformation tools in the toolbar. This is move tool, rotate tool and scale tool. First let's pick move tool and select the object. Now we can find the manipulator. In this manipulator red arrow denotes x coordinate, green arrow for y coordinate and blue for z coordinate. The handle selected in the manipulator turns to yellow color. In the same way, the object also moves in the direction of the handle. In this case, the object is at 1.8 in Y axis. If we move it up using move tool, we can observe the change of value in translate Y. We can also know the distance between the object in X axis from its origin, Y axis from origin and Z axis from origin point. In the same way, for rotation, red, green, blue ring stands for X, Y, Z coordinates respectively. By selecting desired ring, we can rotate in a particular angle. The small square located at the center of the handles is called origin axis. By clicking on this, we can transform the object in any of our desired direction with the tool which we have selected. For example, if we click the origin axis of move tool, this way we can move it in the desired direction. In the same way, if we use handles for scaling only X or Y or Z axis. But if we select origin axis, object can be scaled uniformly in all axis. In the next lesson, we will learn about the components of the object.